Howdy and welcome back to another Bevy video. Today we get to celebrate the release of Bevy 0.12. So without further ado, let's jump into the blog post. First up, the big ticket is deferred rendering. Basically, this is a new rendering paradigm that Bevy will support out of the box that has different abilities and trade-offs from the normal forward renderer. I haven't looked too deeply into this yet, but it seems like you can mix both forward and deferred rendering and even toggle them at runtime. I'll have to play with this a lot more, but I think it's going to lead to some super cool community plugins to try out and add to your games. Next, we have some better shadows and better standard materials. As with every Bevy version, the rendering just gets better and better and the team's doing a great job. Another major feature this time is the asset system rework. It doesn't look like this has many user-facing changes, but I smell a lot of the groundwork for a bevy editor in this work. We also have some new options that will help deploy more optimized games and might open the door to some really cool features down the road. Android support has also gotten a new update, and now they claim true Android support, so I'm super excited to try that out on my phone. Last time I tried, it was kind of buggy, and this seems like it's getting some much-needed attention. Materials got another round of updates as well, and you can now extend materials, and we have better methods for importing existing code into shaders. Hopefully, this will make it easier to reuse some of the complex shader magic in your own shaders. There's also improved ergonomics on the CPU side for using materials and UI materials, so the entire system seems to be developing nicely. We even have a complete write-up in the blog about the future of the rendering systems and the direction the team wants to take the engine. Now here is a super exciting change. Rendering batching seems to have gotten a massive improvement, and they are citing almost double the frame rate in some cases. Now models that share a mesh and a material will be sent a single draw call, which greatly improves performance for instance models. We also see a similar improvement for 2D scenes. Overall, this is just free performance for us, and it's really cool to see that just by changing a version number, you can double the frame rate of your game. Finally, we have the change that is most interesting to me. One-shot systems. I haven't got my head around all of the implications of this, but you can now call systems that will run only once. The downside is that they will not run in parallel, but I don't think that's too bad if you use them sparingly. I think this will be super cool, and I already have an idea for a flexible AI system that can be built on top of this. This seems to be much more powerful than the blog is letting on, and I think this will be my favorite new toy from this bevy update. To wrap things up, we also got more audio improvements, and it seems like the entire engine is seeing love and active development still. Overall, it's a great update, and I'm excited to play with it. As the engine matures, it seems like we'll start seeing less churn like we did when the scheduling changed and each version is starting to just be free improvements to performance and ergonomics, and a sprinkling of new features to play with. It's a great time to be getting started with Bevy, and I hope you give the new version a chance. Also, remember to update your plugins, and don't be afraid to contribute updates to open source plugins you use and love. As always, thank you to my wonderful Patreon supporters, and thank you for watching.